My name is Daigo Matsui. I'm the director of Wonderful World to End. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a new generation Gary movie. Thank you. So a very warm welcome to the Berlinale and uh, to the Teddy Awards too, the special Korea Film Prize. The honor is mine. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, thank you. How um, would you describe the um, relationship of your two protagonists? あの、なんか異性を思う気持ちよりもはるかになんか強く可能性を感じてこういった女性同士のものを描きましたオッケー okay, um, it actually started out with me thinking about um, depicting a um, heterosexual relationship but then I started thinking that um, if I show a, a same sex relationship I would perhaps have more possibilities why what possibilities もっと可能性があるっていうのはどういう可能性ですか具体的に恋愛においてはその <笑> Okay. Well, you know, when you talk about a um, romantic love relationship, conventionally you have um, goals. You know, like you go out together and you have sex and then possibly you get married and so on. Um, those are the goals. But then I thought, you know, in, in a relationship like this, you wouldn't necessarily be dealing with those goals. Um, it's more about like um, fulfilling each other's like lives. And I just thought that, you know, especially because I can't quite imagine that, obviously, personally, it's, um, it's kind of interesting, mm -hmm. you know? More possibilities in that respect. Mm -hmm. Um, how did you work with the uh, two actresses in order to achieve that, that goal or that idea of yours? What was the working process like? あの、片一方のその17歳の方の女の子はすごくベテランの子で、13歳の方の女の子は本当にこの映画が初めての あの、緊張してあまり元々声が出ない、喋れない子だったので、それがもう緊張して喋れないということに擦り替えたというか、そういう風にしてどんどん本人に寄せてストーリーを作っていく感じです。だから、基本的にあの、演出っていう演出はあ
um, she's very sort of quiet and she naturally does not have a very loud voice. Mm. So, but I thought by depicting that as a, as a characteristic which comes from her like nervousness, mm -hmm. um, I, I, I felt I could use that as part of uh, the character. In other words, I just took advantage of what's inherent to her character and um, made that, integrated that as, um, you know, into the character in the film. で、その初めて女の子はもう純粋に本人の名前を呼びたから、なんかそこに影響を受けて女の子もあの上の子もなんかこう下の子に救われたっていうか、なんかそうやって本人の名前っていうのは本名ですか？その女優さんたちが女優
じゃあ,あのこ,のこういう形のコミュニケーションっていうのはあのいい面も悪い面もあると思うんですけれども、うん、何がよくて何が悪いと思いますプラス面マイナス面ずっとつながっていられるっていう意味でのどんなに離れていてもなんかなんですかね、えー、いつもコミュニケーションを取れるというかなんかそこはそこがいい面でもあり悪い面でもあるかなと思っていてなんか、まあ、それでずっとやっぱり満たされたりと安心とかするけれどもでもどうしてもやっぱり会って手つないだりするような時間には、まあ、勝てないというか超えられないので、うん、なんかそこに満足したら絶対良くないし、うん、なっていうところですね。うん Well,、um, you know, the, the, this connectivity, the fact that you can be connected all the time and that physical distance plays no role, that is, if you will, a, a positive aspect. But I would also say that that at the same time is also a negative aspect. It's positive and negative both. And because it may、um, make you feel at ease, but、um, you know, you won't be able to hold hands, you won't be able to enjoy your, you know, each other, other's physical presence. And、um, it's not perfect, it's not, com- you know, it's not、um, complete. So、uh, you should definitely not be completely satisfied with that kind of you know, communication. You know, it's, it's not perfect. So that's how I feel about it. Um, I, I would assume that it's already been screened in Japan, or maybe it's been shown to people. And I would wonder how the society generally reacts to the homosexuality in the film and、um, just the, this kind of depiction of, co- of, of youth in, in Japan. で、この,あの映画は当然日本ではもうスクリーニングとか行う、配給されたりして、上映されましたね、であのどう反響はどうでしたか、それから特にあのそこのその同性の、まあ、彼はホモセクシュアリティって言ってるんですけど、その同性の愛っていうテーマに関して、あのどのようなあの反応がありましたか。実際結構その言われることが多くて、その同性のものが、うん、あんまりその僕、作ってる時には、全くそんなことを考えなかったというか。純粋になんかあの男女間の愛を超えたなんか愛情の映画が作れたらいいなと思って作ってたんでそれを結構その同性愛の話っていうふうにでもそれを結構肯定的にみんな見てくれていたのでなんかすごくびっくりしているというところとあとはでも反応に関して言うとなんかみんなやっぱりうまく言葉が見つからなかったりとかやっぱ後半結構こう。ですかね、あの、えー、理解不能なんか理屈で考えたらついていけないような展開になっていくので、うんなんかえー、そこに対してすごいみんな私はこう思うと僕はこう思ったとかすごい主観をぶつけてくるのでそれがすごい面白いなと思いますね。Okay. Um... <coughs> Yes, it, it, it was,、um, you know, it got distributed in Japan, so people have seen it. And the reaction is,、um, and the, the topic of、uh, quote unquote homosexual relationship does get thematized. But、um, when, I ma- when I was making this film, I wasn't thinking about homo- depicting a homosexual re- relationship or anything. What it was rather,、uh, more than that, what I was interested in was、um, depicting a, a、uh, You know, relationship that transcends the conventional, usual heterosexual sort of uh, uh, relationship. And、um, so I wasn't aware of that. I wasn't conscious of、uh, heterosexual,、uh, you know, homosexual relationship and that sort of thing. But, but still, a lot of people thought about it and, you know, thought and, and talked about it. And the, the reaction was um, um, basically very positive. Um, but it was simply unexpected、uh, for him because he wasn't aware of, uh, of, of, uh, of that. So、um, he was surprised, he was, it was unexpected. And also, a lot of people said that they can't quite voice their opinion, they can't quite, quite use, you know, use words to, to, they don't know what to say in the sense of they, they can't quite find the right, right words you know, to, to talk about the film. And,、um, Um, and also, especially when it comes to the second half of the film, where things,、uh, where the events start turning in a way so that you cannot really、uh, explain things、uh, with 
you know, in a rational, rational way. Um, um, because of that, people would have very, very subjective uh, opinion about it. And, and a lot of people uh, came up to him and said, you know, well, I personally think it's this and this and this. And so that was interesting. Could you imagine this film with two uh, boys as the protagonists? どうでしょうこの映画をその2人の女の子じゃなくて女性じゃなくて2人の,その男の子、うんうんうん、で作るってことも想像できますかできます、できます。いや。より、どうなるんだろう。<笑>よりポップに、よりファンタジーになる気がする。よりポップ、よりファンタジック。うん、より肯定的な。I think that if I, yeah, I, I, I could imagine,、um, you know, telling the story with two boys. I think if,、um, he said that if, if he took two boys, then it would probably be more like pop, more like fantasy like. It would be perhaps more affirming. More adventurous? Or like what is it? どうですか例えばも,もっとこう,こう冒険的、アドベンチャラスなとか、そういうような感じですかね。ああ、そうですね。なんかやっぱりどういう意味でしょう男の方がなんか夢がある夢というか女性はなんだかんだ言って地に足つけてこう生きていると思っていてやっぱり男の方がどうしてもこうバカにどんどんなってしまうと思っててなんかそういう意味では到達できないところに行っちゃう気がします。I feel that、um, you know women girls tend to be more grounded than boys and men so I think that if I I think that if I took two boys then the story would be It would be, and to put it in positive terms, you know, there would be more like dreams、uh, involved, that kind of ideas, like not, real, not so much reality. They would be less grounded.、Mm. And,、um, you know, you could say maybe they're stupid because more stupid than girls, you know,、um, because they're not so realistic and they're not grounded. But、um, you could also look at it in a positive way, you know, so it would be different.、Mm -hmm. It would be because of the difference in the basic character,、mm -hmm. I think. Um, one of the final questions I was wondering when you were developing the, the, the story and thinking about the realization of the film project, did sexuality play a role at all or is it actually something that's minor? This story is the development stage. I was in the development stage. っていうのは実際にそのテーマの一つとしてあったんですかいやえー、とそれはなかったですねただでもその女性同士があの追いかけっこし合うとか、えー、とジャングルジムでこう横になるとか、うん、なんかそういう、うん、明確に作りたい絵はあったんですけど、うん、そうですねんかそこに向かってなんか作っていった感じですねあそういうイメージはもう最初にあったそうですね、うん um, no, sexuality as such was not, let's say, not a... Topic, you know, not, not something that I wanted to consciously、uh, like mm. build in or anything, but what I definitely did have what were images, certain images, such as these two young women or girls chasing each other, or that playground.、Um, there's a playground scene with uh, uh, this uh, in, in Japan, it's called Jangle,、uh, Jungle Jungle Gym. It's just, just you know, steel、uh, structure.、Yeah. And、uh, you, you can climb all over. And there's a scene where these two girls are there, and they get very like physically close.、Mm -hmm. I did have that image. I definitely wanted those. I thought that Toriyama was very good. Also, another scene, another image that I definitely had from the beginning on. A scene、mm -hmm. I wanted to do was、uh, them like、um, like snatching away, taking away each other's iPhones. You know that that scene I definitely wanted to do. And the reason why he definitely wanted to have that scene in is, you know, no matter, even if you、um, like had a real, real veteran professional photographer shoot a picture of a woman, no matter how perfect 
you know, the, the lighting may, mm. may be. Mm. It is, the picture will not be as like warm-heartedly um, um, depicting the cuteness of the, the, the you know, sort of, prim if you will, primitive uh, iPhone picture that mm. one girl makes of the other when there is that kind of relationship, when there is that kind of love. So I definitely, that because that's, that's how you get the, the cutest pictures. Mm -hmm. And that's what I definitely wanted to depict. How is the attitude in the current young or youth culture in Japan? Is there, do people, are they open to you know, the different forms of sexuality? And are they experimenting and being free? You know, is it basically, like, does that idea of queer exist, like practically exist in Japan youth? カルチャー、ジャパニーズカルチャー。どうなんでしょうか。今のその日本の若い人たちの間で、あるいは若者の文化の中でも、えっとその性に対することなんですけれども、あのどうなんでしょう。オープンなんでしょうか。だからそのど